Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Dreaded D. Rose report. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I had one of the viewers ask me, what do I think about Hulk Hogan showing up at the Andre the Giant Battle Royal uh, at WrestleMania 30? I uh, can't remember how that Battle Royal works. I don't know whether everybody's in the ring all at once or they get called in, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, and there's going to be 30. I can't remember. But anyway, if he got called in, I mean, if they did the, the calling in one at a time, I would think uh, he would be maybe number 30 and whoever's left in there, and maybe a little bit more, maybe 29. And they go to do a face-off in the ring. They're the last, you know, ones left. Um, I could see that something something like that happening, and then I could see Warrior and Hogan facing off, and then Warrior just gets out of the ring, lets Hogan have it. I could see something like that happening, but I don't know how uh, legitimate uh, Hogan's you know health is. But all right, there's a feeling in WWE that Triple H probably won't admit it publicly, but uh, he probably offended that uh, CM Punk didn't want to work with him at WrestleMania 30, and WWE officials, including uh, Triple H himself. Uh, sees uh, you know working with him as a big deal I can see that and on a related note the attitude within WWE regarding punk changed from Vince is going to take care of this everything is going to be fine to a very negative response when asking around lately and this feeling is that WWE made punk a lot of money and then he left simple as that WWE's addition of uh, Monopoly board game will be coming out in uh, April and seeing the Rock, Undertaker, Orton, and CM Punk's all featured on the box too. Alright, Scooby-Doo is going to be appearing uh, tonight, Raw, and uh, will be the same costume character that was at the Sunday's, uh, or rather Saturday's movie premiere in uh, New York City. Uh, it won't be an animated appearance and all that stuff. And speaking of Sco Scooby-Doo movie, Target's giving away free WWE action figure with a uh, purchase of the DVD when it's released on Tuesday. And uh, several, uh, I guess a lot of the advertising and promotion that Target's ads features <laughs> Punk as the figure. <laughs> oh well, for uh, second week in a row, WWE's book Titus O'Neil. I wonder what he's done to lose three times in one night at live events over the weekend. It started out last night, uh, to, uh, well, let's see, three nights ago, to Darren Young, and then he uh, lost in the squash match with uh, Mark Henry after issuing an open challenge backstage, and then he lost in a tag match with um, Titus uh, Tiemann with Br Bad News Barrett. <clears throat> they lost to Mark Henry and uh, Young after Brad Midex uh, ordered a match. And the top, uh, Rock, I think he's already uh, released a trailer for... Uh, Hercules this Tuesday it says but uh, I thought I've seen it online already maybe just some photos and uh, WWE's website has got a new poll up asking fans the most talented of all divas with about 13,000 votes Natalia winning 46% and the closest is uh, Nikki Bella with 20 Naomi with 12 uh, Brie Bella with 11% Summer Rae 6% Eva Marie 4% Cameron 1% Despite leaving WWE, uh, the new uh, CM Punk action figure is featured in, uh, in the Mattel's new WWE Elite 29 lineup. It's been speculated that that could be Punk's last action figure. <laughs> hey, if they can still, if they're going to be making a bunch of money all of them, keep they can have Punk stuff out there. And noted before, there's still plans to uh, break up the Shield, split them up. The plan is for Rollins and Ambrose to play the heel tag team while it rains will be booked as the top singles babyface. Uh, the idea behind that is setting up Reigns to you know, do singles, and it's better for Ambrose and Rollins to turn on Reigns than it is for Reigns to turn on them. It's going to take two of them to beat up Reigns. WWE's Carpet website's got a release up, uh, update on DVD numbers for some of the mid to late 2013 releases, and you're going to believe what number one is. 99,000 units were moved and sold, and it was the Bill Goldberg set. <laughs> WWE 50 documentary moved about 86,000. Uh, Mid Legends of the Mid South moved about 64, and Triple H's moved about 64, and ECW's unreleased Volume 2 set moved 62,000. Uh, don't think you're, they're going to be putting any way soon any of the DVDs on their network. I just can't see them cutting the DVD market off. 
All right, Ray Mysterio is on his way back from uh, doing promotional work overseas for WWE and is expected to be announced for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on Monday. All right, last Thursday's Impact uh, did a 0.89 cable rating down from uh, 0.99, and the show drew about uh, less than a million people, down 18% from the pr previous week. Uh, and Impact did not place in the top 50 shows on cable for Thursday night. Uh, newspaper ads now, this is the bullet in here, that confirm WWE will be inducting Scott Hall into the Hall of Fame this year tonight. As worth noting that he's referred to Rage of Ramon in the promotional material, and the current members could be the click going to be doing the inducting. Newsday's got an article up about Kurt Hawkins, uh, about his new Create a Pro Wrestling School. And it's noted Hawkins will be a regular feature at the school. What else has he got to do? And it's said at one point Ultimate Warrior was open to wrestling a match at WrestleMania 30 pay-per-view, but the, there's no word yet WWE has any plans for him to do that or not. Uh, it was going to be Ryback versus Warrior, which I thought would be probably pretty good. It was rumored at one point that ain't going to happen. Then got Ryback set up with somebody else. And uh, there's still a few weeks away, but the early odds for WWE's WrestleMania pay-per-view 30 uh, results, in my opinion, there. this is what I was thinking. It's going to be Bray Wyatt over John Cena. It's going to be Undertaker over Brock Lesnar, Daniel Bryan over Triple H in the singles matches. Uh, Bret Hart did a Q&A with fans in Manchester at uh, the Comedy Store over the weekend and said he believes Owen Hart's going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2015 from California. Bret uh, talked about how Owen's uh, widow has said that you know Owen hated wrestling and hated his life as a wrestler but uh, Brett said that's not that's a complete lie. Uh, Brett talked about how uh, it's a shame that his kids never got to see him at his best and Martha's grudge with WWE sure isn't helping things. And <clears throat> The Rock is rumored to be the 2013 Hall of Famer headliner. Next year's class could be bigger than this year's. Uh, Brandy Eden Rhodes, uh, she uh, will be bringing fans to her next, I guess, video blog on WWE, which is, uh, of course, Cody's wife and Eden. Uh, her next video is going to be an on-camera Q&A session, and fans will have uh, until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to submit questions with the hashtag of Eden's Life. So if you want to ask her some questions, don't know whether you get the truth answer, but you get an answer anyway. All right, WWE's NXT uh, diva Alexa uh, Bliss is going to be appearing, uh, appears to have replaced Summer Rae in the BFFs with uh, Tasha Banks and Charlotte now that Summer Rae is on the main roster and getting busier. She can't show up no more. Alexia, uh, formerly known as uh, Lexi Kaufman, teamed up with Sasha and uh, Charlotte Friday night, a uh, live event, and they lost to Paige, Emma, and Bailey. Hogan's confirmed on Twitter that he is in New York City, and PWI Insider says that he will indeed be on tonight's Raw in Brooklyn. Hogan also has a bunch of WrestleMania media appearances booked this week. All right, what's going on Raw tonight? Tonight's Raw is taking place in Barclays Center, uh, Brooklyn, New York, confirmed for tonight's show by uh, WWE. He's going to be facing off with Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, and uh, plus appearances by Scooby-Doo, Arnold Schwarzenegger with his Sabotage crew, uh, well, his co-star. And uh, WWE has also confirmed that Daniel Bryan will be appearing tonight, one week after the beatdown after Triple H and advertised locally. He's going to be Bray Wyatt uh, taking, and John Cena taking on Kane and uh, not Bray Wyatt. It's going to be advertised locally. Try that again. Daniel Bryan and John Cena taking on Kane and Bray Wyatt. There you go. All right. Uh, Rock is scheduled to resume filming uh, Fast 7 which production got stopped because, you know, the death of Paul Walker. Uh, and there are plans on using some body doubles to finish the movie with and some CGI uh, to work around the scenes where Walker, you know, hadn't completed. And uh, the film is scheduled to be released next uh, April. And while filming, filming for Fast uh, is going to be resuming, the next uh, G.I. Joe movie that also features The Rock will be uh, delayed as actor John Chu uh, he's working on another project. <laughs> anyway, next up for Rock, though, is an action movie, San Andreas. 
It's scheduled to, to be released June 5th, 2015, and that's where the San Andreas Fault is taking California, pushing it off into the ocean, and Rock is on the other side, pushing it back. Uh, probably. Happy birthday to four-time TNA uh, X Division Champion Christopher Daniels, 43 years old, uh, famer, Hall of Famer, should be a Hall of Famer, of jobbers. Why would they have a Hall of Famer jobbers sometime? Anyway, WWF, jobber, Barry Horowitz, 54 years old, Mario Mancini should be another one in that. Three older guys. Former WWE Tag Team Star, Orlando uh, Cologne, or Epico, 32 years old. Former uh, World Heavyweight Champion, Jack Swagger, 32 years old, and WWE Legend, uh, Undertaker, 49. Now, they ought to have something <laughs> set up for Swagger tonight, about a birthday. Also, this would have been the birthday of WWE Hall of Famer, Gorgeous George, would have been 99 years old. And on this day in 1997, Wrestling World lost the one-time AWA World team, uh, Tag Team Champion, Dr. Big Bill Miller, 69 years old. Now, this was a little history here. Miller retired to his home in uh, Ohio in 1970, passing away about oh, probably 25 years later of a heart attack, suffered on his way out of the gym. Uh, interestingly, oh, uh, Miller is one of the very few doctors in wrestling who have legitimate claim to that title. He's uh, a qualified veterinarian and indeed operated a practice in Ohio following his uh, wrestling retirement. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.